Hello, it's been a very long time. Today is September 29th. The last clip I made was actually August 7th when I did max. A lot has been going on actually. Um, a week later, exactly after I maxed, someone and I decided to split up that I've been together for six years and even two weeks before that I had started a new job, um, a management level job and so the next four to six weeks following was intense for me. Not a lot of sleep, tons of hours at um, both jobs that I have, and really no time for gaming at all. This past week though, I did start aerial fishing. I'm pretty sure I tracked my XP. Let me see really quick. Yeah, so I tracked my fishing because I had just crossed 16 mil, so 274,000 XP, which is pretty good. And then in Hunter, I'd started at 16.5, so... Over 300k XP in Hunter just from finishing off a thousand multi pearls that I now have as you saw. So let's go get the fish sack that I have been waiting for for so long now. Value, thousand multi pearls by the fish sack. And there it is in the log. Here it is on. I think it looks pretty good. But now the rest of the plan is to finish off this angler outfit at Temporos. I want to get the full recolor and really what I'm looking for there mainly is the tackle box. Well, I did get one of the combat achievements and that was something that I didn't talk about earlier. I will be working on that. Um, I didn't get any of the time ones obviously, but I did get the weed whacker. And there are two more, the deranged archaeologist, uh, major of the swamp, and I'd rather be illiterate. And that's obviously killing it and then missing its special attack. Some of these I did only get as images. Here is the deranged archaeologist novice killing it 10 times. And then there is the deranged archaeologist champion killing it 25 times and finishing off the combat achievements there. From there I went into the catacombs of Corrin to do the den of giants killing all the different types of giants in the catacombs. And then I went straight to Winter Toad with a buddy to do all of the combat achievement tasks there. Starting with building a brazier and healing a pyromancer. And then we did Cozy Y Fletch and can we fix it as we ended the game. The only annoying one was this last one and that was making sure all the pyromancers didn't die. After that I did go straight to Temporos to start on the new outfit as well as finish the combat achievements that I've been working on. I only did get an image, but I did get the tackle box early on, which was really exciting. And there is all of the easy combat achievement tasks done. I meant to do it all in one go, but that's okay. Well, it was accidental, but I did finish the easy combat achievement diary. Let me talk to this guy, Gommel. Can I help you? I'm here to talk about this. Uh, I think I've completed a tier. Easy. Alright, I got the first hilt. Easier time obtaining easy clues. And have increased max quantity offer when given Slayer boss tasks. I didn't even know it was on the first one too. Nice. Antique lamp. We did get the Trollheim teleport though. Wag. Wag. There is the last two for the medium achievement diary as well. I also did the Y cook getting um, at least nine points. I think it's a hard one. But yeah, new personal best and 11 that game. All right, let's talk to Gommel for the second time today. I've completed a tier. All the mediums. Better hilt. Um, easier time obtaining medium clues. Um, increased max quantity of boss layer tasks as well. I think this is a antique lamp. For 10k. Well, after game 87, we have exactly enough for our first piece. Well, one more actually. Pretty funny. I am going to start with the hat um, on my group Iron Man. I think I did the body. And yes, I'm actually further ahead in this on the group Ironman, but that's okay. Uh, let's talk about outfits. I. It'll cost ya. Asked about the spirit angler outfit. Uh, proceed with the hat. 
Let's go. We got the spirit angler headband. First one. And here is me getting the second piece. I did do the top. I just think it looks really good from going down since I started with the hat. But the, yeah, there's the second piece. 204. Look how good I look. Oh yeah. After game 123, actually, I get my third piece, the waiters. Three of four. And man, I'm starting to look really good. Alright, 140 Tempros KC. I think is what I'm going to end off with. I do have 29 searches. Only need a little bit under 200 to get the last piece. If we get any luck. Alright, there's definitely enough flakes there to get the final piece of the outfit. Very nice. And no luck with any more uniques. I will show the log after I get the boots. I did get a ton of more flakes than I thought I would. With my KC ending at 140, I do finally get the last piece, the boots, to finish off the Spirit Angler outfit. I wanted to do this first because I think it looks so good with the Max Cape on. And funny enough, I had 420 Spirit Flakes left over. Alright, and here is my collection log at Temporos. I did have the harpoon fish before I maxed, but I got the unique I wanted as you saw, the tackle box. And now we are finally done with this, for now. As I was finishing these combat achievements, a friend was with me and we decided to go to another minigame, Guardians of the Rift. And as you can see, I'm 250 KC in, I'm nearly 1000 searches, and I still don't have the Abyssal Lantern. I did get a collection log piece though, the tarnished locket from the intricate pouches, but I also got a shield left half, which was absolutely disgusting to get. Alright, I'm pretty upset about it. I think I'm one short of a thousand, but I did want to finish that off since I was here. Let me show my log really quick before I do that. Um, I would like a die. Obviously, I am here for the Abyssal Lantern. I do need the Lost Bag from a pouch, but overall, I am here to stack up for the Guardian's Eye, which is to recolor the Runecrafting Pet. Here we go, 10 searches. Can we get a new collection log to finish off? There we go, Abyssal Blue Die. And actually I can turn that in and finish off the green outfit. I need one for the top. Well, no lantern, but I will take a new collection log. East, let me talk to this guy really quick. I found this die in the rewards with. Are you wanting me to change it? Yes, but how did you know? Would, would you like to swap it for? I'd like to swap my Abyssal Blue die for some Abyssal Green die. There we go. Thanks, Felix. And now I can finish off my Gothic set. The Green set. There we go. Very nice to end the episode.